In this video, we'll talk a bit more about subsurface ellipses on surfaces in OpenVSP. Let's start again with the wing and take a look at an ellipse subsurface here on this surface of the wing. You can see again that we can tag inside or outside this region. And again, because it's a closed boundary, we identify a center in UW coordinates and then the length in both U and W. Now, as this shape is manipulated, you can shift it around, but you might wonder, well, it's an ellipse, so what exactly does theta do? Well, to be fair, it can rotate it around a little bit, and it kind of shifts the position. But let's take a bit of a closer look on something like a flat plate here on, say, the face of this stack. If we come back and look at this ellipse, notice that I've set the number of points all the way to the bottom at 3. So in fact, this is a UW coordinate triangle. And just to prove it to you, let's move this out here. So you can see we've got three different sides all defined in UW coordinate space. But as I increase the number of points, we can get an inside polygon. And eventually this becomes arbitrarily large and you get an actual ellipse out of it. But for low number of points, you can see that you can get the edges of a polygon shape. So let's drag this back down to three and bring theta or rather the center of view back down to where it was and see how this kind of changes shape and changes the behavior. Now again, this is basically a constant W line here and then U is progressing out to a point, which is kind of interesting shape. But what happens if we play around with theta here? Let's turn this around and notice that we can either get closer to zero. And in fact, if you set this to 180 divided by the number of points or three, it will place one of the vertices at the next constant point, and it will put that constant W line on the other side. And so we've created kind of a completely different shape in on the surface in the XYZ space, but in effect, it's basically the same shape in UW space. So it's kind of cool. So all we've really done is just turn this triangle 60 degrees and put a point here instead of having the center over here. And so ellipses can be used in a variety of interesting ways with that knowledge ahead of time. So yes, you can make a patch of this subsurface as an elliptical shape. We can adjust the U and the W length. But remember how I said that an ellipse is not the way to tag the face of this component as an inlet, because it is not going to follow a constant W circle. It's going to make these weird shapes. Similarly, out here on the wing, if we come back and take a look at this, we can, of course, drag this all the way back and make, you know, a uh, four-sided polygon, so a little diamond shape on there. We can rotate these around in theta, bring it all the way back and make a triangle patch. Or, you know, as we increase them up, it will become more of an ellipse. So as these are moving around, you can see that you can tag surfaces here on, say, the upper or lower surface of the wing. And if you have a flow-through duct on a wing surface, you can use subsurfaces to denote that. You can use ellipses on these other surfaces, say on the front or the back, to um, try and identify holes or uh, different rough patches. If you have, say, a uh, region here where you want to make a very small uh, U and W and make it just a small region and uh, identify that as like a fuel cap or some region that has a lot of excrescence drag on the surface of a wing, you're more than welcome to do that. So again, Lots of interesting ways that you can use this ellipse subsurface type, not necessarily for just tagging things that are circular in UW, but also for creating these interesting little polygon shapes.